protective gear was worn and safety precautions taken. All competitors voluntarily took part in these controlled events with referees and medical staff monitoring them. Introducing the fighters a punch down with epic nicknames such as Turbo Joker, Gladiator, and Max. Maximilian need a nickname for the old poster mate. What did the five fingers say to the face? Favorite slappers, go. These guys, obviously. The world of professional slapping is the most stupid yet most watchable thing on YouTube. Welcome to Shredder Slapping Science. How to start a video where people slap each other in the face? Sell supplements. The old protein wafer there, that's gonna galvanize the jawline. Some zero syrup to give you that energy kick before you slap someone in the face. And the vitamins fee. For when you're stuck in bed for two weeks after being repeatedly slapped in the face for YouTube views. Punchdown is the greatest YouTube channel that has ever existed ever. It basically involves two people standing opposite each other and without being able to defend yourself, the other guy hits you in the face or what I call a Jake Paul fight. And whoever's left standing is the winner, I think. I don't know, I'm making up the rules as I go along, as they are. And there are both men and women's matches where they mean mug each other before the said slapping in the face, or what I call a regular Saturday night in England. Referees are ready, Ryan Seacrest is ready. Oh, what's this? Is, is this like the rules? No nut shots or something? I really wish I understood that. I'm certain it's hilarious. Right, here we go. First up, Dave, heart for haircut Smith. He's gonna win, he's definitely gonna win. He's got a beard, he's got this. Okay, who's he slapping then? The dumpling. Come on, mate, look a bit more excited. You're about to get slapped in the face by one of the characters from The Hills Have Eyes. Cheer up. Phil and Grant Mitchell in attendance. The Mitchell brothers. Look at that technique. That is shot put rotation right there. Dumpling is putting the old hips into it. Oh, hello. This guy was born to slap. Just pull out my pants there. Wouldn't want to embarrass myself on a YouTube slapping video. And so these guys continue to slap each other in the face for the next 10 minutes. What did you learn at school today? That Polish guys are as hard as nails. And so they were both fine. No serious injury or anything like that. Both still standing. And a bit of mutual respect here after the match. I think Dumpling incredibly won. And I'm getting that from the fact that he was interviewed after the the fight. And so with a minimal amount of research, I have discovered that Dumpling is one of the best slappers on the planet and he looks dope with strobe lighting behind him. And Dumpling looks like, what appears to me, to be traveling the world and slapping the cast of Mad Max. She gets it. This guy ended up in the crowd and he hit this guy so hard that his hat flew off. It was not a hard hat. That is a slow burner of a joke. When you go to bed tonight and you're about to fall asleep, you'll laugh at that one. Maybe. Lockdown. Siberian slapping champ Dumpling takes on Brazilian MMA beast in brutal jail face-off. Last year, a new strange Russian sporting phenomenon was born when Vasily Kamotsky, nicknamed the Dumpling for his animalistic appetite and stocky frame, won the inaugural Russian Slapping Championships at the Siberian Power Show. 12 months on, and the farmer from Siberia is featuring in the latest unforgiving installment of Stone Faces for 150,000 rubles, prize total from the depths of a prison cell. That sounds like a straight-to-DVD movie, which for some reason I would absolutely watch. When someone gives you that stare, time to leave. And so my favourite character in the game is Sub-Zero, but he was unavailable, so here's Anastasia. Does she know this is a slapping competition, not Poland's next top model? Oh yeah. Everyone knows me from different reality shows, obviously. I have a lot of experience, especially in slapping guys. This is amazing. Whoever scripted this, this is amazing. It's like a cheesy 1980s cop show as she blows on those old hands, the weapons at the end of her arms. And if any doubt about her superpower, name like a Disney character, combat skills of a Disney character. And so when you go to the punch down page, it's done in a controlled environment where you have referees, you have a medical team on standby and their job is to catch them if they fall. Basically, they're like yoked wicket keepers. And there are other slapping organizations. This is not a monopoly here. You got Slap Fight Championship where it's mandatory to dress as a 13 year old with angst. Sharky7 presents these girls who slap each other's cheeks. That sentence that I formed is factually accurate. You'll have to go and watch the video to find out why. Now, I don't profess to be an expert, but I think the lady with green hair is facing the wrong way. Is she planning a spinning attack or something? The bloke who made Jake famous? This guy put on his UFC merch to intimidate his opponent. I train UFC bro. I think he won. This fella. I'm starting to think that the entry requirement to become a slapper is not that strict. Is the security guard meant to be laughing? And for some reason unknown to me, I'm compelled to look more into this guy's social media, but I couldn't find him on the web net. If you know anything about this guy, please let me know. Let's just say I will dig into that one. You have people who voluntarily chosen to com compete in this sport. Is it a sport? It's kind of like boxing, but just made up for YouTube. So here's the old tournament schedule. It's kind of like the World Cup of slapping. Will they use VAR? If Street Fighter went YouTube, it's basically just pictures of meat and shoulders. That sounds like a type of shampoo. Here's the first match, Belle Delphine versus her mum. That is not a good stare. That's a get the hell out of here stare. If you ever see that stare, run, always. Look at the effort this lady's gone into just to be slapped in the face, matching hair, nails, and dress. And here's the tail of the tape, seductive version. And I do not speak Polish, but regardless, I will translate. Don't worry, it's mostly accurate, probably. And if you do speak Polish, I apologize, it's not at all accurate. I'm gonna slap you so hard, darling, that your hair extensions will turn blue. Sponsored by Punchdown. Anastasia, what do you think about my three-piece suit? Rocking the Gianluca Armani. Oh, and this scary lady trying to take your head off. So this isn't Poland's next top model. Look at the amount of sponsors all over them. Human billboards right there. And by the way, the sponsor for this six-pack on the shirt. 
Are they wearing earbuds? Are they listening to Justin Bieber and slapping each other to the beat? Why are they sticking cotton in their ear? Can someone tell me? Is that to try and protect their eardrums or something? And I love how they have the gum shields because letting someone palm strike you in the head with no defense at all. Don't worry, because the teeth will be fine. At least you're still going to have that golden smile while suffering from memory loss and a bit of baby powder there to keep them palms baby soft for the hard strike to your cranium. I'm actually nervous watching this. I've got butterflies in my stomach. I feel like Joe Rogan cage side. My back hair is standing to attention. Just imagine that for a while whilst you eat your dinner. High heels off. Okay, we're ready to go. It's kind of like a weird type of cricket here. Just like preparing the string or like a ten or like a tennis serve. And here is Tinkerbell's reaction after what can only be described as a sledgehammer landing on her face. Fun fact, that's how I dance. Look at her. Look at her. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. H hair swish. I'm fine. Whilst her eyes are blinking about a thousand times faster. Cruella Deville wiping her hands after another good slap in the old TV there. Show that one to the grandkids. All right, one slap from Belle and then we'll move on. Okay, this looks like a more delicate technique here. Quick stoppage there as if there's any specialism to this at all. Second serve. Second serve. Come on. Actually, I don't know what's more terrifying. This stare or Anastasia with her crazed smile as she's about to slap you in the face. In hindsight, both equally nothing I ever want to see in person. And this was Mandy's reaction after Tinkerbell landed what can only be described as a mosquito bite tickling her cheek. It was basically like the queen waving. <laughs> nothing. Like a brick, mate. Did that hurt? No. Oh, God. She's going to slap me again for that, isn't she? <laughs> This poor woman, they said, Anastasia, do you want to be on YouTube? Do you want to be on YouTube? Do you want the limelight? Loads of people are going to watch you. She said, oh, yes, please. I'll do my hair and my nails and I'll wear a pink dress and all that. And I'm so excited. Thank you for the opportunity. And then they wheeled out her opponent. Even Drago's stone-faced sister over there with a jawline of granite. I'll give you one guess who won this match. At least she got a participation bouquet. Silver lining and all that. Just give her a massive trophy. Basically, Esmeralda just won the Champions League. Oh, and by the way, after this fight, Belle and Cruella just randomly start kissing each other. <laughs> Okay, last one. Here we go. The guy who looks absolutely terrified opposite this dude. Anyway, here he goes. This is his chance to get the advantage. First slap. Big shot needed. Big shot needed. And he missed. He missed a standing target that is not moving and slapped him on the shoulder. Look at that face. The terror on that man's face. The fact he's missed has just glazed over his eyes. Okay, we got a lefty here. We got a lefty. Jacked mohawk. Gareth Bale steps up. And again, these dudes just seem to repeatedly slap each other in the face for 10 minutes and they both stay standing. Neither one goes down. Neither one is seriously injured and they shake hands. And someone probably won here. I think it's this guy. Maybe because they interview him. Still with a deer caught in the headlights look. It's like that Simpsons episode where Homer just gets repeatedly punched in the face in the boxing fight and he wins because the other guy gets tired. I don't know how they actually decide who won here. Is it the hardest slap? Is it the most aesthetic turning circles? Can I be a judge on the next one? Shredded slapping signs in the building. The number one slapping commentary channel for all your slapping needs.